All right, so I know a lot of you guys have been patiently waiting for this. Fantasy Star Online 2 finally released their closed beta test. Like the vast majority of beta tests, there were issues, but issues that anyone that had played a closed beta would be all too familiar with. The general consensus for the beta was that while, yes, there was lag, there were disconnects, and overall there was some downtime, the game is about as exciting as everyone was anticipating. So I have played the official Japanese version of the game, and honestly I played it quite extensively. This left me with, you know, like quite a bit of knowledge of what to do, how the game plays, all the different mechanics and all the different features in the game. But honestly, there were a lot of people that were left kind of confused because Honestly, it, it's, it has a bit of a, uh, a learning curve to it. And that was where a lot of the fun actually originated from. A lack of knowledge, people having absolutely no idea what was even going on, lots of questions being asked, and players just generally having to learn how to play the game. Before we go any further though, I would like to state that the footage used within this video was recorded by a buddy of mine, Tenek127 Gaming. He's my go-to console MMO guy. If you're interested in console MMOs, or heck, even console games in general, go ahead and show him some love and head on over, hit that subscribe button, and let him know how much you appreciate the PSO2 footage. Now let's talk about the closed beta. From what I witnessed, the beta went more or less as I had expected. I saw people complaining that the PSO2 team should have been aware how many players had signed up for the test period and thus should have taken the necessary precautions to ensure a smooth closed beta. But I'm going to be honest with you guys here, the purpose of a closed beta is not to ensure that the beta itself is smooth. See, while yeah, they probably had the exact number of players that were going to be participating in the beta test, it is highly likely they didn't expect the server load to be nearly as high as it ultimately ended up being. This is a case in many MMO launches. You really don't know the strain of holding that many players, and thus you can't really prepare for it more than what you initially anticipate. The closed beta test period ended up being extended, and the instances of downtime, lag, and disconnects were pretty much resolved, which is promising news for their upcoming open beta, which, yes, is confirmed to be happening. When approximately is unknown, at least as of this video, but it's unlikely that it'll take place immediately after the closed beta finishes. Something I noticed, which was kind of a reoccurring theme over on both Reddit and Twitter, was that the game seemed a little too easy. Easy. Fights required little effort and overall provided not much in the way of difficulty, but this is actually due to the balance changes that were made to classes since the content was originally released. As you continue through the game, things will increase quite rapidly in difficulty, providing much more of a challenge for players. Also worth noting are certain changes that were made to the game, certain changes that were not present in the Japanese version. And I know this is something that you guys were all no doubt waiting for and no doubt expecting. I guess, and that is censorship. So far, there are two different reported instances of alterations to the game. On the one hand, we have the reduced, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and refer to it as jiggle physics. There was someone who showed the difference between the bounce on female characters between both the Japanese version and the localized English version. However, it has also been reported that it is in fact a glitch as opposed to an actual change made to the game. Now, while I cannot confirm this myself, I would like to let people know that the majority of players on Reddit have been stating that it is in fact a bug. I'm unsure of their source, but I do hope that is the case. The one confirmed alteration to the game though has been in the way of height sliders. They've increased the minimum height requirement for characters, essentially making it impossible to make smaller lolly characters. I know this has upset some people as they had intentions of making tiny little lolly characters. Honestly, I wasn't actually even aware that you could ever even create a character that small, but this is likely due to the fact that Western audiences, devs, and publishers find lollies highly distasteful. And that's it, at least currently. There may be additional changes made to outfits, cutscenes, or other areas of the game, but right now it seems like the majority of what's available in the first batch of levels remains intact. Overall, I feel like the closed beta ended up being about as successful as it could have been. There were a... <laughs> A substantial amount of players and there were a lot of events going on. When the urgent quests began, everyone would rush to the quest desk to participate. Seeing so many players actively playing, actively moving around and actually doing stuff, just stuff, chatting, dancing, even watching the Sonic trailer or the live concert, it was all very, very cool something that I'd forgotten actually happened in MMOs. While I know this won't remain as the novelty of the game will likely wear off, it is still refreshing to see. I was pleasantly surprised to see that while yes, initially there was lag, the combat felt as good as I remembered. Very fast, very responsive, and the character creator, 
seeing so many absurd looking characters was actually kind of pleasant to laugh at. Overall, I feel like when Fantasy Star Online 2 launches out of the beta test phase, when it launches onto PS4, when it finally launches onto the PC, it's really going to shake up the MMO market. Well, yeah, we do have Blue Protocol coming. It's also cool to just play something, I don't know, like beautiful and entertaining and just a little bit silly and I guess just uh, like fun I guess for lack of a better word like when was the last time you guys just took a little bit of time and had fun in an MMO doing something new maybe even in a new game itself yeah and that's pretty much what a lot of people are feeling right now and it's really cool a quick note though I will actually have closed beta keys for the PC version of the game ahead of its closed beta launch so make sure you're following me on Twitter at ByteSticks because that's where I'm going to announce that uh, I've essentially been given the closed beta keys and I know you guys are gonna want to get into the closed beta but that's this is my opinion, my impressions of Fantasy Star Online 2's closed beta. What do you guys think though? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you all next time. Peace.